The Big Short is about a group of outsiders in the high finance world who basically predict the the financial collapse and the uh, uh, and the housing bubble crisis, and they find a way to sort of bet against the big banks and win. He's loosely based on a on a on a real. Uh, person who worked for Deutsche Bank, but he's also the narrator of the story, so he sort of wears a lot of hats in the film. Jared is kind of tipped off to these credit default swaps that Michael Burry is, is purchasing from the big banks, and he, unlike, he's, he's unique in a sense that he's, he, he doesn't think it's crazy at all. It really sort of confirms a suspicion that he's had for a long time that things are just too good to be true and can't go on this way forever. So he doesn't take any convincing to sort of follow suit. He recognizes the, the genius of what Dr. Burry's doing. I think what makes the film special is that although its characters are walking a moral tightrope, the film never really is because the film never celebrates the score that the characters pull off in the end. It's, it's, uh, even uh, Brad's character has a has a great line at the end, towards the end of the film where he says, you know, uh, you know, you realize what you've just done. You've just bet against the American economy, and if you win, hardworking people will suffer. So at least have the decency not to um, celebrate. So I think you know the f the film sort of is is has strong moral footing. Playing a, a, a living person is really tricky and, and it really, but what it really depends on is, is the filmmaker that you're working with because, you know, they're the ones at the end of the day who decide how the audience feels about this character or not. And I just felt that Adam's intentions were, were so good and that he really wasn't trying to uh, depict any one person in a negative light and he really wanted to educate the audience in an entertaining way. So it felt like... Um, you know, one of those opportunities where you could play a living person. Also, you know, specifically in my character's uh, case, you know, he he really is the least like the real person of any of them in the film because he is uh, uh, the narrator. So, you know, a lot of licenses had to be taken with that role, and so, you know, we changed his name, and, and he really did become very different than, than, the, than the, real, the real person. I really like... Uh, the book, and I, I like you know the way Michael Lewis writes. You know, I feel like he 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 has a great way of taking uh, worlds that are hard to sort of penetrate and 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 giving you access into them by sort of just by a human approach. He finds characters that that are empathetic or interesting, and he he sort of helps you to you know uh, understand this story on a on a personal level. I'm a fan of his anyway, you know, his, his, his movies aren't even really like movies, they're more like, they feel like friends of mine, you know, you want to, <laughs> you check in with them every once in a while, you know, you miss them. Uh, they're very special f films, he's a very special filmmaker, and you could tell from the script that he just, he had a, something to say about, uh, ab about this country, and about how this happened, and why this happened, and it felt so well intended that, um, it, for me, it was a very, uh, I feel very lucky to be part of it, to work with him on it. Steve's just a great actor. I I've had the opportunity to work with him twice now, and I'm just, you know, and also I'm a fan of, 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 of his work, but he's just, um, he's just such a great actor, you know. I, the character he was playing was based on a real person, and, um, that guy came to set and just seeing them stand next to each other and see seeing them talk was sort of it was it was really impressive you know Steve had really was doing an incredible job of uh, of, of capturing who this guy was um, so it's hard to say it's hard to articulate how but it's just when you saw them next to each other you realize just how great what Steve was doing really was I think it is a, a history lesson, and it is a cautionary tale. It's also just a really fun ride. It's, it's, it's a lot of things, you know, and, and I think 
whether it's in the financial world or I think you could apply the sort of the willful ignorance that the characters embody um, in the movie, you know, to a lot of different situations. And even the movie ends on a sentiment of a, of a, on a, on a, on a financial um, level of a new sort of, a new sort of version of a CDO that's already been created. And, and so it's, it's sort of, it's, 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 it's tipping the idea that, that this is already sort of um, in a subversive way happening again. I can identify with probably most of the audience, which is that this is a world and subject matter I never thought, first of all, could be very interesting or, or uh, that I would really completely understand. And, and I think that Adam and, and the whole team have really done a, a really great job of, um, of, of, of sort of like shaking the rug and, and showing you, you know, what it really is and helping you to have an understanding of it, um, you know, which, uh, which, which I think, you know, is very unique in a film. I, I can't think of many films that, that kind of leave you with, like, that are educational in that way, but as entertaining as this one is as well. Brad is very, very funny in the movie and very, um, you know, really kind of the moral compass in a way, if there is one. And I think he, he, he just, he does a great job with, the, with, with it and obviously is, is, is part of the reason why it's, it happened at all. And, um, you know, Christian just did an, inc it's, 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 it's really one of my, I mean, I'm a big fan of his anyways, but it's one of my favorite characters that he's played. You know, it's very, it, it's, it's very, very funny and very, uh, touching and, uh, you know, really beautifully handled, you know, Steve, I felt the same way, and, and and all of the all of the day players. I mean, everybody's really you know. Adam had a way of getting um, just great performances out of everybody.